Hey everyone, this is Stephen Moore, also known as Uncle Phantasmo on the forums. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how I built this trebuchet using a bunch of different techniques and modifiers and um, walk you through designing each individual component, how I organize my files, how to set up the joints and the materials and rendering, uh, and then finally how to upload it to the gallery um, online. Um, uh, this is going to be our outline. I'll show you how I designed the bucket, the hinge that connects the bucket to the arm, the arm, the support, the basket that'll have the projectile for the trebuchet, and then finally the chute that is underneath um, the whole mechanism. Then we're going to take all of those individual components and use joints to align them and set them up properly so that they are working together in the way that they should um, using primarily the rigid joint and the revolved joint um, and then because we're going to be building this both in uh, well we're going to use normal joints and then joints uh, at location and then uh, we're going to do some material stuff how to get to the appearance window, how to change your material types uh, and selecting them, and how to manipulate the properties of them, as well as uh, how to drag them, which is pretty easy uh, and straightforward to drag and drop them onto your model, but also how to interchange them once they're on your model. Then, find, then uh, we're gonna do some rendering setup. We're gonna set up our camera, our environment. We're gonna talk about rendering locally and then rendering to the cloud and what the benefits are and what the uh, minuses are to each of them. And then finally, the publish and share um, section is just going to cover creating a public link and then also how to publish it to the gallery. So uh, with that, uh, I'm going to show you just kind of the basic makeup of this before we get into modeling it. I have um, my basket over here. Um, my bucket is what I'm calling this. This is my bucket. That is my counterweight. Uh, we're going to do some um, modeling the arms and, and the support system and then all the, the uh, pins that will go between uh, so that it will hinge and be constructed appropriately. Uh, so without further ado, let's get on to the next video.